but now we have the wrap up time. Um, each candidate is going to get two minutes to speak. So far they've done pretty good. Give them a round of applause for each and every two minutes. fair is draw out of this little bowl here. Okay. You right there playing with the phone? Come here. Hey, I'll tell you what. I could volunteer for the first. I really need to use the restroom again. You do? <laughs> <laughs> I get, I, anybody have, anybody have an objection to that? I'm sitting here with Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's going to draw. He's going to draw, but do you need to go first? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> if you really got to go, I mean, you can. He's going to if you don't pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, David Thompson. <laughs> Keep rolling. We're going to go ahead and do this in the order that you're going to go in. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you want? You, I really, I don't mind. He's really got to go. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been, been drinking water here. I've had a little bit of a size. <laughs> you know, uh, this election. As a job interview, and we, we've all filled out our applications, and we've all been interviewed. And I've, I've never, maybe some of you have, I hope you haven't, but never have seen the question asked whether you're Republican or Democrat on a job application. I'd like you to keep that in mind um, as you go to vote. That what you what you're looking for is the same thing as an employer's looking for. And that's a an honest person that's going to show up at work and going to strive to represent you in the way that you want to be represented. Um, you know, there's been many things that I feel like I've been a part of that have affected the whole county that, that go unheard, and, and that's fine. Like I said, I'm not looking for recognition of, uh, or glory. I truly have a passion to see Ohio County be a better place, and. Um, I failed to mention earlier, I didn't know how much time we would have, but, but I have uh, my wife, Candy, back there in the back, and uh, I did have three children here, but it looks like they may have slipped away. I'm very proud of them, and that's, that's who uh, our children and our, and our future is who we really need to be concerned with, and not so much of, of our wishes today, but of, of our needs for tomorrow. So I appreciate everyone coming out here tonight. We come out here for two good reasons. Uh, hopefully, this this continues for the educational purpose. I hope you got to know a little bit more about each and every one of us. And uh, most importantly, thank you. <laughs> okay, David, you can go. Can go. <clears throat> First off. I'd like to, to say, because it's been said here a few times tonight, contrary to the popular belief, we do have 24 hour patrol. Uh, we have a deputy out there, uh, all three shifts. Um, and some of you business owners and, and, and church doors might even know that by the security checks that we need on the doors. So we, we absolutely do have a 24 hour patrol. And we can document that if anybody wants to see that. Now, I'm not in the habit of making promises that I can't keep. But I did make a promise four years ago that I would try to make Ohio County a safer place and a better place to raise our families. And I hired good, dedicated, loyal deputies that have worked hard to do just that. And we're very proud of that. We have built and still building a reputation across the state of having a safe community in a very progressive sheriff office. And it's so important to keep that moving forward. And you guys can help me do that November 4th. But look at the record and decide for yourself, okay? According to the KSD crime report, three years prior to me taking office, when my opponent was the chief deputy of operations, only 352 crimes were investigated. 
in my first three years of being your sheriff, 1,407 crimes have been investigated. So one promise I will make, actually three, a promise that I will continue to investigate all crimes, a promise that I will continue to arrest drug dealers, and I promise that I will continue to arrest those who hurt our children. So let's don't turn back the clock of the progress we made. Let's keep moving forward together because our future of this county depends on it. So I humbly ask you for your support of the report. Thank you. stand up here and promise you what I'm going to do. Uh, Y'all heard me speak before. I'm not going to promise anything. I'm not going to promise to clean your ditch or to cut your trees or to black off your road. Because that's if it doesn't get done, then I'm going to be in the, you know what. But I will tell you this. This whole experience, win, lose, or draw, has been, in my opinion, it's, it's been a lot of work, uh, more than I ever dreamed. But it's been an experience. I've run into people I went to school with. I've run into people that knew my grandmother, that knew my great-grandmother, and get caught up into reminiscing, I guess, more than anything. But this is a great county. Uh, I don't know anything any different, but it's a great county. I've been here all my life, other than the four years I was at school. Um, you know, I just want what's best for this. And I sat over there at the senior building the other night. I want my kids, that one, and two more. <laughs> To come back here and, and you know, to, to be able to sustain and have a, a good paying job, build a house, do what they want to do with their life and stay here. I don't want to drive eight hours to see my grandkids one day. Um, you know, I know that happens and sometimes it just can't be prevented. Uh, but at the end of the day, I just want what's best for this county. And I think everybody sitting up here does. Maybe they got a little different view on it. We all want the same thing. We all want what's best for this county. Thank you. Moments, if he has something that he'd like to say. I won't take the 42 minutes, but I do want to come up and thank the chamber, uh, the Beat Down Performance Club. Uh, this is nice. This is a refreshing event that, that we need to see more of at this county. Uh, I do want to take the time to thank these candidates. Um, if you've never campaigned in a district or countywide, uh, you don't do it for yourself. You do it because you truly and humbly love this county. It is a job. It is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, I want to close and thank you, Ohio County. Uh, I've been privileged to serve you for 15 and a half years, um, and it has flown by. Less, uh, you know, the time working with you is just is a blink. You know, it's over. So uh, I appreciate you. I thank you. I encourage you all to vote. Um, you know, it's your right, and so many people take that for granted, and it's a shame. Teach your children uh, the importance of it. So, thank you, God bless, and uh, thank you again for having us. David Johnson. Thank you. Thank you, Women's Club. Thank you, Chamber, and everybody that came. Really appreciate you being here. Uh, I would. Uh, Take this opportunity to ask for your vote because I want to continue the progress that we've made and I'll tell you just a little bit about it. 
Uh, a lot of things that you know we've done, uh, like we've equipped the uh, uh, Sheriff's Department with facilities and equipment and everything that they need, make sure they had everything they needed, as well as our road department and all of our other departments in the county. We've made sure that they uh, had what they needed, and that cost money. We also paved a lot of roads, and uh, more than it's ever been paved in a four-year period, to my knowledge, and that cost a lot of money. And uh, we've expanded our quality of life uh, things in the county, and that costs money. But with that said, we also uh, paid down our debt, nearly a million dollars. We put 600,000 plus in a rainy day fund uh, that wasn't there before. And we started the $100,000 a year savings account. So I want to throw that in there so you wouldn't uh, take away the fact that, uh, the thought that we were spending all of your money, we're not. But we are giving you a lot of services for your money. Uh, I'm real proud of that. I just want to continue the uh, progress. Uh, I look forward to working with uh, the rest of the court, whoever it may be. If you elect me, we'll, uh, we'll make a lot of things continue in the county and make a lot of good things happen here and make Ohio County an even better place to live. Thank you, Women's Club. Thank you, Chamber Pavis. Thank you guys for coming out, too. I hope you enjoyed your meals. And our kids are probably back there running. You're looking at your kids. Yeah, I think yeah. they're back there running because I hear them. But i um, just uh, like to say thank you again for being here. And uh, guys, if you're looking for a magistrate that uh, loves the county, I can say we probably all do. But if you're looking for a magistrate that roads are important to them, I'm that. But if that's all you're looking for, that's probably not me. Roads are very important, and like David said, we've gone over more roads, especially in my district. I've not chipped and sealed in four years. I've done blacktop because I feel like it's gonna last longer, and if you spend a little bit more money in the long run, your roads are gonna be better. So uh, my roads are in pretty good shape, but that's not all I'm here for, okay? If you're, like I said, if you're less what you're looking for, it's great, I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna look into it, but that's not all I'm gonna do. Guys, I wanna look into our economics. Our kind of kids, like Brandon said out here, I want them to be able to stay around here. We have worked on our infrastructure. Our roads are better. Our sewer plant, our water plant, we've got a great industry park. We started OCEDA. We've got a person, we got a person that's recruiting for us. That's his full-time job now, looking and getting Ohio County out there. But there's two other things we've got to do, and I'd like to have four more years to be able to do that. Guys, uh, Joe said, Probably one of the most important things that I would like to see in the next four years is our uh, communications, our cell towers, internet signal, and fiber optics. That's one thing that businesses are going to be looking at. They, they've got a list of things we're looking at, and we're working into it, but that is a huge thing that we're missing out on. That's one thing that I'd like to work on in the next four years. Uh, another thing is our students, and we're working on that. We're becoming, trying to become a work-ready community. We're working with our high schools. The high schools now are getting every student to fill out a college education. We're trying to, we want a skilled workforce. You have to have a skilled workforce. Our industry will not come here. So it's important that the court work with the, with the school system. Guys, I would appreciate your vote November 4th, and thank you for coming out. So if anybody gets a chance and they got any questions for me, just catch me afterwards and ask me all the questions they want. But as far as what I want to see accomplishments, I want to see the better roads. I want to see more things for our kids to do. I want to see better support for our fire departments. But there's no way to get all that in four years if I get a chance to serve. This is a long, this is going to be a long going thing. Better communication for businesses. Uh, the ability to be fair to everybody. The third district has three fire departments in their in their district alone. They have three cities in their district alone. The biggest thing I want to be is fair to them. 
I've told them that. I've been to all of the fire departments and the cities, and I've told them, you know, the only way that I can be fair and make sure I support each one of you as even as I can is by being involved. And that's what my plan is, to be involved in everything I can possibly be as far as the master and as the county. I've got to be fair to the county. It's not just the, me serving the district, it's me serving the county too. But there's a lot of a lot of goals that I have. Uh, can't make any promises. That's exactly right. There's no way you can make any promises because there's no way uh, you're going to have all the answers. You don't even know what all the questions are. And Jason pointed out, you know, this would be a new field for several of us. And uh, I think everybody that's running is anxious to get in there and try to uh, prove what they can do and, and better the county and and just to hope that they can uh, serve their, their districts and their county the best that they can possibly serve. And that's me. I appreciate anybody's support on November 4th. And, and like I said, if they look me up and ask me all the questions they want after this, I appreciate it. Thank you. I want to thank you all for coming out here tonight. I know you had to take time out of your schedule to come out here and listen to us, and I appreciate that. I've also been looking at the state police uh, uh, statistics from the sheriff's office. Uh, now that the sheriff mentioned it, I'll, I'll go ahead and share this with you too. Um, you know, they when you report a crime, the KSP keeps up with those statistics that they send in. Drug and narcotics offenses in 2011 reported were 91 and cleared or solved 60 cases. 2012, we had 113 reported, 65 of those were cleared. In 2013, we had 111 and only 53 were cleared. Your sex abuse cases, 12 were reported in 2011, only 8 were cleared. 26 in 2012, only 8 were cleared. 26 reported in 2013, <clears throat> 3 of those were cleared. As your sheriff, I will guarantee you that I will get those up to a higher percentage. That's less than 50% in a lot of those. I am very approachable when you come to my office. I will be open to your concerns, your problems. My door will always be open to you. There will be no locked doors that you have to go through to see me. I will be there for you. I will care about your problems. We all have to, to be committed to Ohio County and dedicated to you, the people. And that I will be. I ask humbly for your vote in November. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank God I didn't have an opponent. 
But anyway, 18 days, and then I'm going to take a week off. <laughs> and really, it's been a great experience uh, for me. I told Jason, he's had to put up the lights. I wasn't the best map reader when I went in eight years ago. Pretty good now. I believe I could get to New York even. So you learn a lot through redistricting and reapportionment. And all the people that have called me, because it was a difficult task, and just encouraged me. And when it was rough, 30 seconds, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for everyone that's been understanding and patient about all the changes. Thank you for understanding it wasn't the court, the judge, or my decision. It's the law. And just appreciate your support. You know, we're in the fourth. Don't have an opponent, but I'm still on the ballot. So take the time to check me. I thought that looks good on paper. Thank you. Have a good day. Appreciate it. I think I'm going to talk to the judges about bringing Sheila in there when some of the attorneys get long winded in court. 30 seconds. <laughs> Time's up. Does that work? Larry Arnold. First of all, I'd like to thank Jason for a clean uh, campaign. We have not had a crossword uh, at all, and we hopefully we won't. Uh, I think being a magistrate is more than just roads and uh, ditches and blacktop. I think that uh, the magistrates need, we need to promote more activities for the youth and our seniors. We also need to be receptive to our first responders, those that are paid and those that are volunteer. Economic development with good paying jobs, not just minimum hourly wage jobs. Vocational training for those who do not wish to go to college. Good schools that educate, that good schools that educate college <laughs> Good schools that educate college and career ready children. And they said that they didn't promise anything. And I would like to make a couple of promises. I promise to watch over the county's finances because it is big business. Ohio County has grown. They do have a terrific budget and it does need somebody to watch over them. And I will listen to your suggestions. I will also return your phone calls. I've had to do that in 38 years of business. When you sell a lot of stuff, you do get complaints. Some of those calls you don't want to make, but you have to. And I was always the one that made them. I did not push it off on anybody else. And I will be your working magistrate because I am retired and I've got the time to do it. Please consider voting carefully. I appreciate your comments. Help, well, it's first time, not second time. <laughs> and support to become your second district magistrate. Thank you very much. I want to thank you all, the residents of Ohio County. I want to thank the residents of the first district. Uh, I am running unopposed. As Beth said, I would love to have that little check mark because it does look good on paper. And what I'm here to tell you tonight is simple. Get up on election day morning. Do what you've got to do. Get back down on your knees. Pray that the good Lord lead you in what you do. Go vote and let the cards fall over the Amen.
Well, you had an opportunity to speak. Well, now I didn't bring up the speak for him. Okay. All right. I just want everyone to join me in just thanking all of the candidates. So if you guys will all stand up. Thank you very much. You guys have a good evening. And a big, uh, big thank you for having me. Thank you.